So in our last video, we talked about what non-disjunction was. Now I'm going to talk to you about some of the results that you might see of non-disjunction. Of course, in non-disjunction, you get either an extra chromosome or a missing chromosome. And of course, because this is biology, we can actually give names to uh, these conditions to describe someone having an extra or a missing chromosome. A monosomy, uh, using that prefix mono for one, is where you have a single chromosome at a specific locus. And this word locus basically means location in the genome. Okay, and we'll look at an example of that in just a bit. So at a specific location, it has a single chromosome. Uh, the other more common one that we will see is a trisomy, using that prefix tri, meaning three, which means you have three chromosomes at a specific location. So this is basically a monosomy is minus one, and a trisomy is plus one, because remember, you already have a homologous pair, so to have an extra would mean you have three. Can anyone point out what is abnormal about this karyotype? I'll just give you a second here. You might have noticed that this karyotype only has one X chromosome. And this is going to lead us into the only viable monosomy in humans. So this is the only monosomy that someone can actually have and be born with and live out their life with. So this is a monosomy at X. So again, that's what we mean by at a specific location. This is called Turner syndrome, all right? It is the only one that someone can live with. And obviously, someone who has Turner syndrome is going to be female. They don't have an, a Y, so they will be female. 